Joomla 4. The new cool kid on the block. I'm not sure if you're aware, you probably are. You've probably watched my last video down here on how to install Joomla. If you haven't, I will link it in the, in the description. Joomla 4 is essentially the, the next level of the web. I mean, this, this thing is powerful. This thing's competing with WordPress. Uh, it's it. I think it's outperforming WordPress. I still think the article management system's not amazing, but it is doing really well and it's really efficient and it's creating some really awesome websites. So today what we're going to be covering is we're going to be going over the the dashboards of Joomla 3 and Joomla 4 and we're going to be showing you where the changes are, how to find things that you were looking for previously and now can no longer find. I'm pretty much going to go through them from the configuration all the way to the extensions and modules, components and pretty much show you how the dashboard works and where you can find everything. Hi guys, I'm Brett, welcome to the channel. This is the Codoverse. This is a place where we deep dive into all things development, design, and we have a bit of fun along the way. Now, if you are interested in any of those or you want to learn some new tips and tricks, if you wanna learn how to do a bit of SEO and upskill yourself this year, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to hit that subscribe. All right, so as you can see here, this may not be the, the website you were expecting to see because this is Joomla 3. Now, I didn't wanna start basically directly onto Joomla 4 without kind of going over a bit about Joomla 3. Now Joomla 3 is done in an older style where everything is kind of up in the the top little menu bar. Now it's not overly a bad thing, I actually find it a lot more efficient having everything at the top of the page, but it's not really suitable for the modern world of web. So as you can see here, most of you guys who has, have worked on Joomla before, you'll understand how this works. But you have basically your system menu, which holds all your things like your global configurations, your caching. You next have your users. This is a part of your site. Pretty much holds your users, groups, menus, holds everything you know related to menus or you know sections on your site that do things. Uh, that hasn't really changed much in the newer version content now this is where the majority of the changes do begin components extensions and help now we're not going to go through any of the help stuff because i don't think it's important for you to understand how the new dashboard looks or works all right so going over here we can see the new dashboard of joomla 4. now this is a significant upgrade it looks a hundred times better um I do really wish that at the top of the page they did have the navigation, but the side navigation works pretty much equally well and it's very good for the, the drop down capabilities and stepping into your menu. As you can see here, the dashboard hasn't changed a whole lot. On the front page, you do have a lot more navigation links to places that are gonna be more useful for you. So if you're a business or somebody who worked with Joomla, it's going to be a lot easier having all of these up the top from your users, articles, article categories, media and modules. So generally speaking, those are the only places that we would have a user or a customer, client, business actually go in and edit their own content on the website. Having those there essentially means you don't need to go anywhere else on the site. You can go to your home page and pretty much smash out everything. Over here, we've got our system menu. This is really good for checking in um, your locked item. So when you go into a article but you don't properly exit out, this is a easy to get to place where you can just click check in, check in all your articles and then you're free to roam and do it again. Um, your cache, this is a good place if your website's not updating and is holding cached versions of the pages. So you can click there, clear it, and then you've got your global configuration which is where you can edit your database, email, SMTP, a whole lot of other stuff. I will run through uh, another tutorial on the global configuration so I will put that in the footer of this or in the description of this video or it may appear at the end of the video if it's up by the time you're watching it. You've also got your notification bell or bar here which pretty much tells you if there's any updates or anything outstanding 
on any of your your overrides your extensions um, the core joomla versions what's and, and whatnot as you can see here you know there's an available update for joomla 4 because it is fairly new it will constantly have rolling updates over the next couple months now so everything on your website is generally going to be found under these four categories here which is going to be your content your menu your components and your users now if you want to edit any um, content or anything on your site it's it, you're going to find it under this section here now the majority of your pages will either be built as an article or it will be built as a component some sort of magnitude if we quickly compare um, this you've got your articles categories featured articles fields field groups media site modules and administration modules all under this content um, field if you compare that to say on Joomla 3 your content actually only includes your articles categories featured articles fields and field groups and, and your media um, whereas your modules are actually stored under extensions, but they don't have your administration modules there because Joomla 3 isn't really built as a platform that you use the administration side more than the front end side. This has now been moved over into content. So if you are confused at where your modules are, your modules are now located here and not here. All right, so your menus haven't really changed. And they're still gonna either have a manage where you can manage all your menus. This means you can add other things like your main menu, your footer menu, uh, a user menu, anything like that. And they will display automatically underneath the list of where well, you've got main menu here. Now that hasn't really changed much from Joomla 3, which again is just a drop down, but it's a lot easier to use this time around. Now for your components, your components will initially have a lot less than what they did on Joomla 3 because a lot of these weren't even really useful they weren't anything that a client would be able to access or when you install a new component such as community builder if you were to use k2 which I don't think at the time of this is compatible with Joomla 4 but anything like that it will be stored under the components menu so on the Joomla 4 dashboard you will see that they'll just appear there but also that they could appear depending on the module as part of your sidebar without having to be stored under components. It just depends how the developers have set up their components. Now the user system has been put in last in the menu. Compared to Joomla 3, there's not a huge amount of difference here as well. They still manage all the users, groups, everything under this category, so it should be easy for you to find. The, the main change in this is essentially the fact that the modules are now stored under content. Now there is nothing under the system menu but um, compared to Joomla 3 your system menu didn't actually click through to anything and it did have a drop down which generally would consist of your control panel, your configuration, global check-ins, cache, everything like that and server information. On Joomla 4 there is significantly a lot more there than what there was and um, a big change here is that now your templates originally on Joomla 3 located under your extensions which um, has your plugins templates and modules has now been moved under the system menu of Joomla 4 so basically all Joomla 4 has done is completely wipe out the extensions window so it's no longer used anymore yeah, everything under the system menu, you will be able to find uh, the updates, the information, uh, user permissions, templates, and so much more. It, it is truly a lot better and a lot more efficient. Uh, the setup to have it this way makes it a lot easier for developers to have everything in one location. Overall, the dashboard does look pretty slick, and it is a great uh, upgrade from the previous versions. There is a whole lot of awesome um enhancements which i will list just here so you can pause the video take time to like and subscribe but also read through that list and you will be able to basically see the enhancements on joomla 4 which are significant and they really 
are a big player in the next generation of websites going forward. So that does it for this video. I really hope that you learned something new. This video was really only designed to run you through the dashboard, explain a few of the changes that have happened, and you know, it all looks very promising. It looks like there's a lot to look forward to. If you are a Joomla user, um, this is gonna be a whole new level of um, development, management, um, for businesses, for developers, everything. So if you are new to this channel and you do want to see more videos like this, all you've got to do is hit that subscribe button. I'll, I'll put it right here, which you won't be able to click. But just below there, you will be able to click the subscribe, put your notification bells on, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you do need any help with Joomla, uh, websites, anything, I will link my main website down in the footer and you can see it on screen here. Uh, I run a company which deals with Joomla websites, uh, SEO, development, design, a whole lot of things so be sure to check that out as well. It's been a pleasure having you here for this tutorial. Now I am going to be running through a whole lot of Joomla for tutorials. This is going to be everything from the, the dashboard, the configuration, how to add articles, how to add categories, a bit of development work on them and how to really get things moving and create your own site in Joomla. So if you are interested in that, do hit subscribe and you will see them in the next video. If you do want to go back and see this video on how to install Joomla, I will link that at the end of this video or it will be in the description of this video as well. So until next time, it's been a pleasure as always and I'll see you in the next one.